what's up guys? Out here at Threadbow Resort in Australia, riding with Kevin. What's up guys? And today I wanted to talk about something that can be a little bit confusing as you're looking at picking up a new snowboard. Very confusing. And that's gonna be the actual length of your snowboard versus the effective edge. What's effective edge? So the effective edge of your snowboard is basically the part of the edge that gives you control when you're on a groomer. So it's the length between the two contact points on the nose and on the tail. And again, the contact point is going to be that widest point on the snowboard in the nose and tail. All right guys, so usually one of the biggest things people are focusing on when they're looking at picking up a new board is the overall size of the board or the length or sometimes called the running length. So what that refers to is the actual overall length of the snowboard from the tip, tip of the nose all the way down to the tip of the tail. So that's where that number comes from for the size of the snowboard. But what's just as important as the length of the snowboard from tip to tail is gonna be the effective edge. So uh, just to show you guys, the effective edge is gonna be the length from the nose contact points, which we have right here, the widest point on the nose, all the way down to the widest point on the tail here. So the distance between those two points that's gonna be your effective edge. That's where you're gonna get all the control from the snowboard if you're carving on any kind of hard pack snow or any snow condition besides powder pretty much. Oftentimes on directional snowboards, uh, something like a 157 here will actually have a shorter effective edge than a park snowboard that's a 157. And the reason that that is, is that you'll have a lot of extra material outside the contact points. So uh, the Kazu is a directional snowboard. On the nose, it's gonna have a longer nose than it is on the tail. So in powder, that's gonna to help to give you more float. Caput actually did a really good job with the Kazu. It has a pretty solid effective edge, but if you look at more pure powder specific shapes, the Jones Mind Expander comes to mind that has that really long swooping nose outside the contact points. That board's actually gonna have a really short effective edge. So it's not gonna be super stable on a groomer, even if you have a pretty large size. So if you ever hear someone saying things like, oh, this board rides kind of long or kind of short for its length, they're talking about the effective edge. So we've also got Kevin's board up here, the Capita Horoscope, it's a true twin. Let's get him to talk about that style of snowboard as well. All right guys, so my snowboard is the Capita Horoscope. And just like what TJ was saying, the length of the board from tip to tip is a 157, but that doesn't matter so much on this board because the effective edge actually goes pretty close to the tips. And then the nose and tail are blunted, which is great for a park board. That means there's gonna be less swing weight when you're going for a spin and just makes the board lighter overall. Also with the blunted tips outside of the contact points, it's making the board a little bit shorter, even though the effective edge is still fairly long. So you could actually size down on this snowboard. I'm riding a 157. If the effective edge was shorter, I would probably have to ride something like a 159. So it allows you to ride a lighter, smaller board in the park without sacrificing the control you get from the effective edge. Yeah, so like Kevin was saying, it's actually really cool that the horoscope has those blunted tips that allow you to size down. Something interesting, you guys can check this out for yourself. Uh, the Horoscope 157 actually has a longer effective edge than the Capita DOA 158. So just because a board is longer doesn't always mean that it's gonna give you more control on a groomer. Uh, so that's why they say you can size down on these guys. Awesome guys, I hope that helps to clear that up for you. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments. We'll also have links down there to our gear if you wanna check that out. Shout out to Kevin for helping me out. That's a confusing topic. Glad we got through it. Hope that helped, guys. Sick video, TJ. Thanks, Kevin. Thanks for helping out, man. Woo! <laughs>